Hey guys, this is Aaron. I want to take a look at something in the layout today. This was a tip based on a request from a YouTube user who asked about uh, basically a workflow to put revision clouds into layout. So what he was doing was actually using the arc tool to create a string of arcs every time he wanted to put a revision cloud in. We're going to look at a solution, a couple solutions that are going to make it a little bit easier to do something like that. So I have this model right here, and I'm going to say for this example that uh, I'm, I'm going to change something about this front window. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by clicking on the circle command. And I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to draw basically a bunch of circles around the area that I want to edit. So this, this portion right here becomes uh, somewhat artistic, or uh, it's pretty much however you want to do it. You can come in and create a very, you know, structured uh, set of circles that are going to exactly envelop the location that you're trying to mark, or maybe come up with a little more abstract blob like this. Uh, it's up to you. What we're creating, though, is the outside of these circles is what is going to represent my revision cloud. So that's great. I have all of my circles in here. Next step is going to be to come up here and select the split command. What I'm going to do is I'm going to walk around these circles and every place one of them clicks, I'm going to hover till I get that intersection and click. That's going to break those two, that breaks those two, and I just work around every intersection clicking once. What this is going to do, it's going to break each of these circles at that intersection. So when I'm done, which is right now, I can go grab my select command, pick, and then just hit delete on the keyboard. So that's just going to get rid of all these pieces right here. All right, so that's a start. Obviously, that looks pretty good. Actually, it looks pretty ugly. That's not, that's not a good solution. So fortunately, we're not done. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I click on the join command. Now, join, a lot of people end up trying to you know, come in here and pick these points. Or it's really a lot simpler than that. I'm going to click on this arc, then I'm going to click on this arc. And you can see they join together. Then the next one, click, click, click. And I'm just going to work my way around, clicking on every one of these little circle chunks that's left over. And I end up with one solid piece. So that is how I would recommend going about creating a revision cloud. Obviously, not quite done yet. A little bit more editing to do. I'm going to come up here to fill and turn the fill off. And I'm going to go to stroke. And I'll maybe I'll make that uh, rather than black. Ooh, bring this over here. Maybe we'll make that like a, uh, a reddish color, bright red. That looks good. And uh, I'm actually going to up the stroke a little bit to do a full, full stroke. So there we go. So that gives me a pretty good looking revision cloud. Now, that only took a couple minutes to do. Uh, went a little bit slow because I was talking. You could probably knock one of those out in you know, 20, 30 seconds if you had to. But it's not an awesome solution to have to go in and draw a bunch of circles and cut them and fit them back together every time. So there's another way to actually create some clouds like this without having to draw them manually every single time. I have a, another layout file open. And all this is is a bunch of clouds. So I created each of these the exact same way I created the other one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to File and Save As a Scrapbook. I'm just going to call it Clouds, because that's what it is. And you see it's going to save it into the Scrapbooks folder. When I hit Save, and what that's going to automatically do is if I come over here to my Scrapbook dialog, click down, I now have a new Scrapbook called Clouds. If I click on that, it'll show me, should look familiar, exact same geometry. So this is cool because, I'm going to go ahead and close out of this one. Back here, if I wanted to drop a new cloud on here, rather than going through and drawing it like I just did, I could come in and say, OK, I want to put uh, this cloud right here. And we'll go ahead and resize it so it's the right size for this window. And of course, I might want to play with uh, you know, my line weights and that kind of thing based on the scale of the drawing. But you can see the geometry actually to bring it in is very quick and easy. So I'm actually drop this down to a single point for this scale drawing. So there you go. Quick and easy revision clouds inside of layout. You like this video, like the content we shared? 
Give us a like down below. Let us know what you like and you don't like in the comments so we can make more skill builders that address the issues that you want to see. Thank you.